so I'm Alan and welcome. Today we're working on this female dwarf warrior from Atlantis Miniatures. Uh, this miniature is a fantastically detailed 28 millimeter scale dwarf. Um, and what's great about this model is even with all of this detail, it's just a one piece kit. Um, so once you clean up the mold lines, you're just ready to go and ready to start painting. So as I look at this miniature, one of the things that really stands out to me is the layers of cloth that I have. Uh, that she has down here. It almost looks like she's wearing you know, three or four different layers here, which is gonna give me some really fun textures to work with. I can layer in different colors. Um, and I, I really like the braids and it really screams kind of a Celtic feel to me. So I'm thinking right now of maybe doing some tartan pattern, some plaid on some of these layers of cloth and maybe some some nice little intricate design detail on some of the other and maybe mix in a, a flat color to balance it out. Um, and, and what I'm thinking in terms of colors right now is I'm thinking sort of a blue tone for a lot of the cloths and then maybe going with her skin tone having a little bit of red into it to play off the blue, um, sort of a pinkish skin color. So what we're gonna start with is a base of scale color basic flesh. Now, scale colors are a really nice paint. They have really good pigment density to them. They tend to be pretty thick right out of the bottle. So I highly recommend a decent amount of water mixed in. Now you'll notice, starting with her skin, the skin is the deepest part of this model. It's where I have to put my brush the deepest I go, like to get down into her neck here, I have to really get my brush down in there. It's best to start on those parts of the model because you'll notice that my brush is hitting a lot of these other parts as I go. And so if I had already painted those areas, I'd have to do a lot of touch up. So starting with the skin, minimizes the amount of touch-up I'm going to need to do later. Now you'll notice that the the base coat isn't totally solid yet. It's okay, we're gonna put another one, one or two coats on there as needed. But at this point, I'm actually gonna go ahead and do her eyes. Her eyes are the deepest set part of the model. And this is really good to do early if you have eyes that are really small like this because to paint them later is, is quite difficult. Um, I also wanna do this before I'm totally done with the base coat because I'm gonna end up going back in and touching things up using the base coat color. So we need a little bit of white paint. Uh, one of my favorite whites is uh, Privateer Press's Moro White. It's one of the only non-scale colors I'm gonna use here, uh, but any other white is fine. Now again, you'll notice I'm not worrying about being too careful here. I'm going to touch everything up later. Just getting everything with a nice solid coat of white. <clears throat> so what I want to do is I just want to basically paint a vertical bar. right in the center of her eye. Um, her hair is mostly covering her pupil on the other side, so I'm not gonna worry about it too much.
before we get back to our base color, one more step. So I'm going to take a nice dark color, a little bit of a reddish tint, so something like Scale Colors Indian Shadow. I'm going to use this to outline the eye. I'm going to cover up all of the places where where that white is should be ending. And as a last step, we'll go back to our base coat color. Just give it a quick little stir. And now we just want to leave the thinnest line of that red. 